How to Learn Speaking Basic Japanese, starring Alexandra Gomez. Learning the Japanese language requires eloquent fluency because any change in accent can change the word completely. Let us begin. Part 1. Over that awkward moment, let us begin part two. We are going to do a fun fact again. I'm gonna ask the video person to pick a number one through eleven, except for number three and eight. 
Five. Five. All right. Fun fact number five. More than 70% of Japan consists of mountains, including more than 200 volcanoes. All right. So, we are going to begin. Time to master more general meanings. Meanings. Okay. So, the first one is Ohayo, which means good morning. And it also, a formal way to say it is Ohayo Gozai. That's the polite way to write it. Say it. The second word is konnichiwa, which means hi, but it can also mean good afternoon. So, the third word is konbawa, which means good afternoon. It is usually said after the sun sets. After sunset. Okay, now we're going to do a fun fact. Actually, let's make it more interesting. Let's do two fun facts. Video person, choose the number 1 through 11. 7. Okay. Number 7. Sumo is Japan's national sport, although baseball is very popular too. Pick one more number. A 10. Let's go to number 10. Fun fact number 10. Men might shave their heads to apologize, but it's not common these days. But it would be good. Okay, so the final word for general meanings is Ayusurinasai, which is usually said before going to bed. This word does not have a direct translation for English, but it is usually said before going to bed. Okay, so, yes, summer means take a rest or go to bed. Oh, you in the side. He talked about this. It actually does mean something. It practically literally is saying, please go to bed. Fun fact! Now, let's do this. I picked this one. It's fun fact number 13. In Japan, did you know that it is considered rude to tear the wrapping paper off a gift? Yep. Manners are everything. Have you ever said please, thank you? Have you learned those things from your parents? Yes. Manners are everything in Japan. Everything. Let's begin. The first one. Arigatou gozaimasu. This is how you say it in Japanese. Or write it. This means thank you. In Japanese, the gozaimasu is to increase the politeness of the phrase. Another way to say this is Gaoma. Which just means thanks. It is the short way to say arigato gozaimasu. Instead, you could say domma. And it is saying thanks. Sumimasen. It means excuse me. But it can also be used to say sorry sometimes. Um, now, we are going to do number three. It's gomenasai. That's how you write it in Japanese. And it means I am sorry, if you didn't already know. Fun fact! All right, we are going to choose number three this time. And number three is taken. Video person, pick a number. Two. Number two. The highest point in Japan is Mount Fuji which stands at 3,776 meters and 
388 feet. That is very tall. Mmm. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. All right. Let us begin, shall we? In this lesson. You are going to learn the phrase that before and after eating. Yeah. <laughs> the first word is itadakimasu, which is usually said before eating a meal. And there is no direct translation for this in English, but it is used to express gratitude for the food. One. Oh, we're rolling. Okay, cool. Second word. Gachisasama. Which means thank you for the food. And it is a phrase said after you eat a meal. Now, let us go to the... You it. Oh! Okay, sorry. We were having technical difficulties, but we got it all figured out. The third one is my favorite one because I just ate a cake and it, it's delicious. Oishi! It's pretty much translated to it's delicious. Yeah. Oishi is used when you like the food that you are eating, like the cake. If learning Japanese got your interest, then here are some study tips for you. Listen closely. Alright, so this is the end of the lesson. If you like Japanese now, then I will show you some study methods that will help you in the future. For example, if you want to learn Japanese, try listening to some Japanese music, you know? Reading the lyrics. That was not a ghost, that was my dog. Um, you can sing it. Yeah? There's another study method, is watching Japanese TV shows, or anime, whatever floats your boat, which you will eventually get what they're saying. It's hearing Japanese. You will learn how to memorize everything they're saying. When there are subtitles in English, you will read the subtitles and as the anime or Japanese drama TV show or anything you're watching, that is Japanese, it will be recorded in your memory. Use your brain. If you didn't already know, Kanpai means cheers. Kanpai! Now you've learned how to speak f not fluent, fluent. I don't know if you're fluent, but you learned how to speak basic Japanese. If you want to learn more, look it up on YouTube or something like that. Look the only giddy, isn't it cute? Come back! Don't leave yet! What do you think you're doing? It's time for the bloopers. Hi! Uh, wait, was that enough energy? I don't know. Hello, Mimimashite! Watashi wa Alexandra des. Nice to meet you. I am Alexandra. No, this is no. Hello, Mimimashite! Watashi wa Alexandra des. Wait, I forgot what it meant. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> How to speak basic Japanese. Created with work by Alexandra Gomez. <laughs>